that's kind of what today's topic is about right there. Navigating being in a relationship with a not only a supportive person, but as men, having a strong woman in our life. And Jason, you talking about being a cheerleader as well. I want to give my hat off to you just for the way that you were showing up for Caitlin. I'm sure behind the scenes and also what we all were able to see when she came, you know, and won Dancing with the Stars and all the things you've done prior to that. I love seeing that. Like yeah, you were jumping out your seat like you were watching a game, man. Like, was it the champagne? Was just like, it was just everything. The champagne like, everywhere, the scene, that, that was epic. That was epic. You know the funny part about that champagne is that champagne. I, I, I got to figure this out with Becca. Full circle. That was Becca's champagne. She just launched it. She sent it to us to like try and like help promote her. I didn't even know it. And I'm firing it off, like throwing it all over. I'd be honored if I was her. Like that's like the perfect moment to actually uh debut that that champagne amazing yeah and i think that you know what i think it's celebration is like it's two things right the same way i get excited for her successes are the same way you kind of feel for each other's pains and it's it goes it goes both ways i think like if people are like dude did you lose your fucking mind when you were in i don't know if i can swear if you're when you're in that apartment like did you lose your shit okay (laughs) did you lose your shit i'm like no dude i just saw my 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 better half like the person i love to death every single day coming home and just beat to shit mentally either she was crying her feet had calluses like that was one of the most enduring shows and times i've ever seen and to like see her like persevere through it all i mean everything man she had a a covid test that came back positive it was done and then we had waited a long period of time it was a false positive i mean she could write a book on that whole journey and to see her come out on top of it was just like electric it was awesome yeah it's amazing man i'm sorry Oh, no, I was going to ask. Um, so, Jay, obviously, our women are successful, you know, incredible women uh, as partners. What like what advice can you give out there to guys that, you know, maybe aren't used to being with a successful woman? Like, how should a guy approach that? Yeah, I mean, I think step one is like get over yourself. Mm. Get over your skit, over your damn ego. So many people are leading everything with their ego. They can't handle the fact that their partner is getting the attention or is is running, you know, the show right now or is killing it in every which way. And that is all ego driven. Look in the mirror. If you can't look at your partner, if you can't look at your inner circle, your best friends, your parents, your cousins and see their success and not be happy for them and not encourage them, you have to dig within yourself to see what insecurities are, are really driving who you are and take care of yourself because it's all ego. And I think that anyone that's fighting that needs to address it. And and I get it though, too, because like sometimes that's not an easy thing. But I think when you're confident and secure within yourself, it changes everything in the success you want for the people around you, especially a loved one. And I'll be, I'll be self-aware here. You take me back like maybe five, six years ago, I'm probably not the same supportive person. I might be a little envious or jealous and, and not be able to, to, for, to cheer for other people's successes because I wasn't proud of mine. And I think the first thing is you got to fix yourself before you can start pointing, pointing fingers at anybody else. Definitely so. Yeah. You talked about being supportive, you know, in comparison to who you were five, six years ago being supportive. You know, when Caitlin, you know, she's a boss doing her own thing. But in those moments to where she is bullied online, how do you support her in those regards? Yeah, that's a... It's a good question. So that's a tough one. Here's, here's why it's tough because I am not good at when it comes to anything business related or sports related. If it was confrontation, (laughs) I step right into it, especially business. I'm like a different human. Personally, I'm not good with confrontation. I'm just not, I'm always path of least resistance. Let's try and, you know, kumbaya, let's try and make this good. Let's see each other's (laughs) perspectives. Caitlin's not like that, right? And you got to applaud the hell out of her. She'll drop the mitts with anybody and it doesn't matter. She'll put them on blast. And so there, I've gone back and forth with this because there are times that I'll tell Caitlin, Caitlin, you know what? There, there's so much good coming your way. Why do you have to isolate and call out the, the little bad that's two to 10% of all the good in your life because of this? And she can't help but relentlessly be herself. And herself is calling people out when they are doing things that are wrong so that people can learn from it. And so when we first started dating, I was like, what the hell are you doing? It's just noise. Ignore it. Now I actually see the good in it because there are so many times she calls someone out 
but she doesn't do it maliciously. She does it with a principle. Like if you're attacking my looks, yeah, guess what? This is what I have done to change my looks. And here's why I actually have some deeper issues with it. Why do you feel as though putting me on blast on the internet is the way to handle that? And the amount of times I'll tell you behind the scenes, I've seen those people reach directly back out to her and apologize and tell them it's a learning lesson and saying, I never thought of that perspective. I'm blown away. So when you see things like that, initially you're like, Caitlin, just stop like enough. Right. But she can't help but be herself. She wears her heart on her sleeve. And I will tell you more often than not, I think when she calls these bullies out, it's a great time to take ownership, self-reflect and see like what every person could do better to be better. And I think that's her intention, honestly. Uh, honestly, Jay, like Rachel's the same way. I mean, post-show, I was kind of like, she was the clap back queen, right? Yeah. She would just clap <laughs> back at people and it's like, <laughs> Babe, just ignore them. Like, yeah. just because I feel like if you give them energy, I mean, you're bringing something to life that totally. should have never have been alive. You know what I mean? And it's crazy that you say that about the people. Like, people write the most disgusting, vile stuff to her, mm -hmm. and she'll actually respond, you know, not disrespectfully or anything like that, but she'll respond with, you know, she's a lawyer, so she'll hit her back with the facts. Like, how was I doing this? How was I doing that? Like, the person doesn't even answer back with the responses. And instead, they respond with, oh, my God, I love you. I didn't think you would respond. And it's like, how did you just say what you just said that was so malicious and then just totally flip? Like, oh, my God, I'm sorry. I didn't think you would respond. Like.